Casual attire in the workplace has been a hotly contested trend. Some organizations embrace it, believing it to be a perk to attract and retain talent. Others believe it contributes to comfort and employee productivity. On the other side of the argument are mounds of solid research that link our visual attire to how we're perceived by others. It was a crisp November evening in 2009. The guests were milling. More than 300 guests, including celebrities, were gathered to attend the dinner in honor of the visiting Indian Prime Minister, Manmohan Singh. Although several of the guests may have shared an interest in polo wine and diplomatic relations, two of the guests, as communicated on their Facebook pages, who shared these interests were not invited. The woman, dressed in a red sari, accompanied by her husband, attired in a black tuxedo, made their way through the crowd as if they were supposed to be there. They passed through several security points, each guard reporting they looked as if they belonged. They met the President of the United States, Barack Obama, and rubbed shoulders with Vice President Joe Biden before it was realized that they were crashing the party. These two individuals will forever be known as the White House Crashers. How did Michaela and Tariq Saali crash a White House party? Dr. Albert Morabian, professor and researcher from the University of California at Los Angeles, showed that 55% of the impact we have on others comes from the visual elements of communication, such as body language, eye contact, attire, and facial expression. 38% of the impact in face-to-face -face communication comes from vocal quality, things like intonation, speed, and clarity. The remaining 7% of the impression comes from the words used. When the guards said the Sahalis looked like they belonged, this provides evidence to support Moravian's research study. If people expect you to carry out your work professionally, they expect to see a professional. What does that look like in your world? Good morning, I'm Rowena Crosby. And I'm Deborah Renner, and we're your co-hosts for this show. Thank you for joining us for the next 17 minutes for your IT show. No, we're not talking information technology. We're talking your invisible toolbox, the show that examines the tools essential for working effectively with others. 